Welcome back to Wonder Boy 3, The Dragon's Trap, otherwise known as Monster World 3. Anyway, um, um, last time, remember, we were Mouse Man and now we are Aquaman! Yes, that's right, we are Aquaman now. But in, in the case of this, well, he is known as Piranha Man, but I will call him Rikul. So we have Riku the, the Piranha Man, or rather, Riku the Aquaman. Oh, fuck it, he's a merman. Anyway, <laughs> and we're going to the one place that actually originally gave us trouble when we were Dragon Man. And as you can tell, Rikuo here has, um, a stab, or rather a thrust, So now that we are, so now that we are recall the, the Aquaman, we can actually proceed with actually swimming through the water properly. So it's okay for us to drop into the water. Because this way, if we were to drop into the water, we can proceed a little bit more further than we could in any of our other forms. And this way we can actually get out of the water much sooner because, well, it's freaking Aquaman. So let's proceed with just going into the water, into the briny deep with us. If you're wondering, yeah, this is how I always play my Wonder Boy games. Because if you don't know, they will tend to cheat you because of that one thing, the hits. Oh, but if we go in here. I think we got cheated here. Or maybe I just already found that. Let's see what will happen if we went farther right. Since we've gone this far, we might as well see where this will take us, right? Oh, 
Hello. Let's see. Just curious. Let's see. What's in here? Goblin mail. Okay, we'll take that. Alright, so let's take a look at our armor. We now have goblin mail, and goblin mail is weaker than the dragon mail. Oh, but if we look in here. Yeah. I think we just unlocked another um another shop. I think that's the reason why we when we open it up when we open up another one of those chests, we open up another shop. I think that's what I'm getting out of it. And as you can tell, if we were to go through that door, we'd go through here. Now, to be quite honest, you do not have to get all of the armors and whatnot. Especially in a Monster World game, you really don't have to get all of everything you find, but it just helps, you know? If I were to go back up here, and go to the other end of this world. Aha! You're probably thinking, how do I know? I don't. So if we go in here, we find another shop. Which they don't have in place yet. I mean, I could always use passwords, but you know. Now this, I believe you need to have a certain sword in order to unlock this. Which we don't, which we do not have yet. Thank <laughs> you. 
But yeah, as you see, as with other forms, you can't jump. I mean, it's a funny thing about, you know, these, these shops, you have to unlock them a certain way. And mind you, they're all scattered about. Oh, by the way, that's how you use your, um, your magics. You use them Castlevania style. So if we were to use Thunder, it would be like that. And Thunder, of course, is, you know, screen clear. But the good thing about that is, you can actually just get as many as you can just by killing all enemies. Thank you. 
Because really, the skill you're really going to need will be the sword breaking one. To where, you, well, the brick breaking one, actually. Give me a second here. Alright, so what I did was, um... I had to basically do a bit of backtracking, per se. And yes, we are going to do some backtracking because since we are Piranha Men, or Rikuo, I should say. Yeah, we're going back here. Why? Because... Remember that sword? I remember the sword that I... Oh, okay. If I didn't tell you about it. We're off to get a different sword. That would help us break gold bricks. So we have to back up here. Namely just to get the Thunder Saber. Yeah, that's right, we're going to actually get the Thunder Saber because we couldn't do it earlier because we were mouse -man. And what you're going to learn about this game is that form changing is important. So yes, henshin is important. So actually, since I have the Dragon Armor, I'm invulnerable to lava, and thus... I'm proceeding forward. I know the monster the monster world games are very very confusing at times and I say the monster world games because this is a monster world game this is not Wonder Boy even though it has the Wonder Boy name on it Wonder Boy is really, um, Adventure Island. So, if we were to open this... Eh, nothing in there. Just making sure. Let's see what's in here. Ah, uh, yeah, we bought that. Well, we just keep going.
And see, with this, we can now swim to the other side, which we couldn't do before because we were... We were somebody else, and... Since we were somebody else... This is the transformation room. So you can transform into Dragon Man, Mouse Man, Henshin, or Henshin, Piranha Man. Well, as I said before, yeah, get used to this because we're going to be transforming into plenty of forms just to get m more access. So here... Since we're here, we need to be Mouse Man. Handsome! Oh no, since we're Mouse Man, yeah, I got a good voice again. <laughs> but we need, but we need Mouse Man to climb up these walls. And drop down, and we get the next sword. And that sword that we have just gained is the Thunder Saber. Now, with the Thunder Saber, we can do this. You don't need to equip it, you just need to have it on your person. So now that we have the power of Thunder, well, we can hench him back. Henshin! Back to Riku. And we can do the following. Give me a moment. I don't think I don't think I've been. I don't think I have a down button for this, but hold on, give me a second. Okay. Or he just didn't come with, okay. Oh well, moving on. See, we can just return if we want, if we want to. Now that we have Thunder Saber, we can actually proceed to we can actually proceed to going back to where we were before, namely back to the water. Because as I said, you don't need to equip it. You just you instantly have the power to smash buttons, but I mean that was the whole purpose of us going back. 
that was the whole purpose of us going back to the uh, to the um, desert just to get the thunder saber. And there's a password if you want it. Thank you, Smoking Pig. So now we can just do that. There's our warp. And we can henshin like so if we wanted to. So therefore, with that, we have another transformation. Um. So even with the dragon, you could just be easily bounce your head and boom. So now that we are actually getting somewhere, <laughs> thank the Lord, all we have to do is just hit this, go back in here, change the recoil again. And there we go back underwater! So now we have a way to get to the next dungeon of the game because we have the Thunder Saber. Also, before we proceed, we can also this, go in here, and there's our next, um, our next shop in which carries the lucky sword. But at least, at the very least, we have access to it. funny you, you got a water based character and what thunder base elements so all we have to do is give it a little pop like so and boom and now we can proceed to the actual dungeon And if you didn't catch the um, reference of why I call them Rikuo, well, apparently you have not been playing much video games. So we can actually swim over here like so. Here we can find another cure station. Which only costs us 50 gold if we are in dire need of healing, but since we are doing good and
Well, I'm playing Monster World the way I usually play Monster World. Well, that much should be obvious of how I'm doing. Well, the only thing we have to do is swim through the currents like so. And make sure we are equipped with Fire bowl. Swim up here. Go inside. And we've unlocked another. We've unlocked another shop. It seems. Every time you go in there, you're just unlocking an art shop. I don't know how it is with these games. It's like, oh, hey, you found something, and all of a sudden, oh, you found Jack the Ditney. through here so back down here you two bosses Clearly, that's a merman. Calling him Piranha Man wouldn't be... Calling him Piranha Man. Come on now. I mean, he's clearly a mer. wondering if that took us there then where did the other path take us Glad you asked my chicken of this year. We're taking us back here. I know getting from one place to the other is pretty damn convoluted, isn't it?
Oh, and by the way, if I were to show you, I said, if I were to show you, there's no attack power for equipping the Thunder Saber. You just have it on your person. So therefore, it does nothing to your attack power. That's why when you get the Thunder Saber, don't bother equipping it. It pretty much acts as an add-on to your sword. I am quite curious. So yes, down in, down in two in this case, yes, it's, since we're going by Sega Master System standards, down in two acts as your um, magic. Oh, there it is. There's a door I'm looking for. This is Rikuo's dungeon. I passed by it. I was looking for it like, where was it? Oh, there it is. Now, as you can expect, Rikuo's dungeon is actually, um, like a ghost ship. If you had nuts, it is a freaking ghost ship.
And as there being lots of ghosts here, well, you can only expect that bullshit is abound with this area. As you can see, all the everything is upside down. Get the hell out of here. I said get the hell out of here. Way those ghosts just like oh, <laughs> and that's how the oh face <laughs> like you hit him hard. Oh, but at least sometimes they will give you back some magic, but most times they'll give you money. Thank you. I'll be taking that. Now, of course, from what I can tell, three is the maximum you can get out of your, um, your medicines. Nope. Nope. This dungeon, of course, as you can tell, is straightforward. <laughs> I miss a straightforward dungeon. Of course, the thing about the ghosts is they don't shoot that far. Get back, get back, 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 back. And then we got blue ghosts. Which takes about three hits in instead of your standard two. Stun like, stun like, stun like. Stun like, stun like, stun like. Stun like, stun like, stun like, stun like. Stun like, stun like. Thank you for the arrows. Give him the monies and the arrows. Through. And now we have Pirate Dragon. Arr! So what you're supposed to do is supposed to hit the Pirate Dragon like so. Hit him in the snout as always. Arr! At least try to hit him in the old snout. Arr!
Same as before. You gotta find that sweet spot in order to hit him. And no, you can't you can't go to your um you cannot go to your item screen. You're stuck with this. Arr, you're gonna get your ass kicked. Oh, damn you, pirate dragon! Damn you and your flaky flakes of flaking! You gotta stay underneath them. Let me pop your snout. Let me pop your snout. Let me pop your snout. You better let me pop your snout. Yo, 
harm, matey. You'll be fool hearty if you take your girl to take down the best of me. Yar, yar. I'll be the one to beat your booty. And also take your booty as well. Now, the next form that I actually will get, I could say, will be a godsend. Come on now. You see why I only make one part of this, right? You know, I might consider doing Monster World 4. There have been many Let's Plays on, on, on that particular game. Like I said, I'm considering that, you know. Good lord, you are annoying.
And mind you, for the ignorant, if I was playing this as is, you'd see me rage quit this game in two seconds flat. What makes this fight hard, as in all the dragon fights, very hard is you gotta attack him. You gotta attack his face. Just don't work on him. So yeah, these dragon bosses are lengthy. The crocodile. I know you and Captain Hook have had some shared differences. Come on now. I could jump a little bit higher, you know, just a little bit higher.
Oh, I can do that. But it doesn't do much damage. One to two hits worth of damage, but you know. Well, it's something, you know. Yeah, I'm out. Oh, this battle's gone on far too long. And even with what I'm using, that's like, you know, a little too much. Snout more. Five. Two. Captain. Mr. Pirate Captain. Pirate Dragon Captain. Mr. Pirate Captain, may I be the first and only one to say, Da 
that you've been promoted. Henshin! So as you can see now, we are now... Lion Man! And like I said, the only reason why I like being Lion Man is just for that one reason. Look at that boost. You got 102. 92 and 66. Attack points, defense, and charisma. Oh, that. That does help change his things. Well, one thing you notice about Lion Man is that he has... That Lion Man can actually... swing his sword. So with that, we're done here. So now that we have changed from Rikuo to Lion Man, well, me and Shishio here are actually going to stop right here in the next part. We're going to plot our next. We're going to plot our next course of action. So stay tuned. Wonder Boy, The Dragon's Trap. We'll return right after this. <laughs>